In the 18th and early 19th century, there were hundreds of sightings of mysterious airships seen in the sky, and we at the time were not capable of building what these eyewitnesses were describing. Some even claimed that they could see people on board these flying ships, and to them they did look human, but their clothes were very odd looking. Some of the time thought that these airships and people were from Mars. The first sighting happened in 1876 in Sacramento, California, when hundreds of people reported seeing something very strange in the sky one night. They said that it looked like an electric arc lamp propelled by some mysterious force, and someone or something was definitely steering it. There were also reports of eyewitnesses hearing voices coming from this ship, or whatever it was. Now since so many people saw this, it became worldwide news. And over the next couple of months, there were other sightings across California. One man claimed that he was abducted by aliens and taken to one of these airships, making this the first alleged alien abduction in history. But his wife did call him a liar and an idiot. Then there was another mass sighting in 1897 in New Orleans. Eyewitnesses stated that they saw a brilliant white light hovering over the Mississippi River at night. And these eyewitnesses were shocked. Some of them were even scared to death. At first, it was hovering very low. Then it stopped then flew away at incredible speeds. Now since at this time everyone knew about the mysterious airships, they thought that this is what they saw. But to me this sounds more like a modern UFO sighting, as they did say, it flew away extremely fast. Now most of these sightings happened at night, but one morning in Texas people saw one of these ships flying in the sky, and it was moving very slow. It was also slowly descending to the ground. It appeared that there was something wrong with the ship. Then it crashed into a windmill, and people from miles away saw this huge explosion. And while people were going through the debris, they found the pilot, but the pilot was not human. A US Army officer officially stated that the pilot was native to Mars. They also found papers that had strange looking hieroglyphs that couldn't be deciphered. And this alleged Martian was buried in the local cemetery. Now this incident was not as famous as Roswell, but it did get some attention at the time. In 1980, an 86-year-old woman who was only three or four years old at the time came forward stating that this was a hoax and that there was never a windmill on the property where the spaceship crashed. So most people wrote this off as a hoax. But there was a windmill on that property. And in 1973, seven years earlier, there was an investigation led by Bill Case of the Dallas Times. And during this investigation, they found two eyewitnesses. One who was 10 at the time told them that he saw the airship himself and there was a lot of smoke coming from behind it. And the next day his father went into town and he saw the wreckage from the crash. Another who was 15 at the time told of how her parents went to the crash site right after it happened along with many of the residents and they discovered the alien's body. This investigation team also went to the alleged grave where this alien was buried and they bring a metal detector as it was said that the alien was buried with some of the wreckage from the ship and the metal detector did detect that there was something down there but sadly they weren't able to dig up the grave. And later, after the discovery with this metal detector, somebody removed the grave marker and placed a 3-inch pipe into the ground. And metal detectors no longer detected anything down there, which is odd. So clearly somebody was trying to hide something, making this a very interesting case. Another strange sighting happened that very same year in Texas, when a group of churchgoers saw an airship drop an anchor that got caught in a railroad tie. Then they saw a small non-human being climb down a rope cut the line to the anchor, climbed back up the rope, then the ship flew away. And these scared eyewitnesses just watched in awe. They couldn't believe what they had just seen. Now this story reminds me about a video I did a couple of years ago. In Ireland, there's an ancient legend. One Sunday while everybody was in church, they heard a very loud bang outside, so they went to go check it out. And when they opened the door, they saw a huge anchor that had fallen from the sky. And when they looked up, they saw a flying ship. Then they saw a person floating down to the ground. It was like he was swimming in water. And he tried to free the anchor that was now stuck in the church door. But he couldn't free it. And according to legend, this anchor stayed in that church door for centuries. But sadly, still to this day, we don't know what city or church this allegedly happened in. And these eyewitnesses, well, they were scared to death. But some of them thought that they had just witnessed a miracle. Now, I find this ancient story fascinating, as there have been other alleged sightings just like this throughout the world. And what happened in the late 18th and early 19th century reminds me of these ancient airship sightings. Now a lot of people believed at the time that these ships were built by the government or a group like the Freemasons. But still to this very day, there's no evidence of that. And since most were seen at night, some of them could have been hoaxes, maybe a kite or something like that. But some, especially the ones that were seen in the daytime, seem like classic UFO sightings to me. Especially when eyewitnesses stated that it looked cigar-shaped and moved extremely fast. Even to this day, we have cigar-shaped UFO sightings. 
And since we have never found any proof that these flying ships were made by man, I wonder if these were the first UFOs from interdimensional beings. A lot of people believe that the UFOs we see today are not from aliens from another planet, but aliens from another dimension. And maybe these so-called airships were some of their earlier inventions. Now whatever the case may be, we will probably never know what these airships truly were. But one thing is for sure, they definitely helped us on our own journey to learn how to fly. Until next time, this is Paranormal Junkie. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned.